How well is Dexis ASX ticker code DXS faring in the market? If you're an avid follower of trends, you must know that an Australian real estate group has been on the investors' radar recently. Yes, we're talking about Dexis on the ASX ticker as DXS. And even though on Tuesday, Dexis's shares traded marginally lower at $10.64 Australian, they're still on the investors' radar. Let's discern the reason behind the same. Please subscribe to this channel, I'm Sage for Calkine Media. So firstly, let's take a quick look at the ASX listed real estate company, Dexas. And Dexas, with the ticker code DXS, is one of Australia's leading fully integrated real estate groups. It manages a high quality Australian property portfolio, valued at $45.3 billion. The company invests only in Australia and directly owns $18.3 billion of properties, while managing a further $27 billion of properties on behalf of third-party capital partners. Dexas stated on its website that the group's $17.8 billion group development pipeline provides the opportunity to grow both portfolios and enhance future returns. According to Dexas, the majority of its earnings are derived from rental income received from its Australian property portfolio and investments valued at $18.3 billion. The fund's management business provides Dexas with an income stream driven by management fees from the $27 billion of assets under management on behalf of third-party capital partners. Let's now take a look at the company's financial performance. The real estate company Dexas has delivered a strong financial performance in the half year of 22, indicating an active start to the year despite COVID-19 impacts. And this can be a possible reason why investors are looking for this stock. As per Dexas's half yearly report released in February, the company reported an 82% jump in its net profit after tax at 803.2 million Australian dollars. The strong performance was majorly driven by net revaluation gains of investment properties that stood at 486.2 million Australian dollars. Dexas maintained a robust balance sheet with gearing of 31.1% at the lower end of the 30 to 40% target range. And despite COVID-19, the company reported rent collections of 97.9% for the half year, ensuring the viability of the small business customer base. Now, although the company is receiving fewer rent relief requests, it continues to work with customers on these requests. Now, we'll take a look at some of the recent developments that investors should be aware of. In late February, Dexas conditionally exchanged contracts to sell Brisbane-based 12 Creek Street with Dexas Wholesale Property Fund to own the remaining 50% interest. 12 Creek Street is a 32 level A grade office building and includes the annex which comprises a new boutique office space. BDO services Moray and Agnew and AFSA are among the key customers. With this the company anticipates a further 391 million Australian dollars which will be used to repay debt. And apart from this, Dexas has further settled the sale of 201 Miller Street which was sold for 152.4 million Australian dollars. And finally, let's take a look at Dexas's share price performance. While the stock has gained 13.33% in the last 12 months, it's dropped 5% on a year-to-day basis this year and 4% in the previous three months. Meanwhile, the stock gained 1% last week, showing a slight improvement. And even though its share plummeted by 0.47% in the last trade, it's safe to say that it's faring pretty well. Thanks for joining us in that report. If you like the information, let us know by liking, sharing, commenting on the video below and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the latest videos from Calkine. For more articles, head to the website, it's calkinemedia.com and I'm Sage for Calkine Media.